What is up my friends? You are so happy you pressed play today because I have a super fun workout ahead for you. This is a 45 minute hit cardio workout for bad knees. Just because you have bad knees doesn't mean you can't work your body super hard. So get ready to have fun and sweat. Let's just begin with a step touch. Just step out to the side, draw your elbows back. So this is all knee friendly, low impact, high intensity cardio. So no squats, no lunges, no getting up and down off the floor but really high intensity. So we're gonna focus on using the arms a lot because the arms are a great way to get that heart rate up without putting pressure on the knees. So working your hardest through the workout. And if you need to take a break, just take one, march it out, walk it out, but don't just sit down for your break. All right, we go for four more and three and two. Now heel taps in front, reach with the arms up. We're gonna go in intervals today. So 45 seconds on, 10 seconds break. Hit training, great way to pick up your fitness level in a short amount of time. Cause you work really hard for the 45 seconds, 10 seconds, short little break. Just enough time to recover enough to work super hard for the next interval. All right, so how are you feeling today? Take a moment, take an internal view of what's happening in your body, connect to your body. And it's time to get rid of some junk, time to get rid of some stress. Four more, three, <clears throat> and two. Step touch, now the arms push out, out. Now feel what happens when you bring those arms up a little bit, how that heart rate lifts a little more. So feeling that heart rate start to kick in, getting the body ready for some good high intensity, low impact cardio. All right, let's go four more, three, and two, heel tappers again, but a big reach overhead. Whew. All right, so start to pick up the pace, pick up the intensity with those arms way up. Make sure you've got some good supportive shoes on, help support your joints. And with this movement, it's gonna actually help with any issues you might be feeling in the knees, in the hips, because guess what? Moving is so healing. So you're bringing oxygenated blood flow to your joints, to your muscles, which facilitates with your body's healing process. So if you do have achy knees, achy joints, making sure you're not going into the pain zone, but as you challenge yourself, you're actually strengthening the muscles, the ligaments, the tendons that help protect, strengthen, and heal those joints, knees and hips. All right, let's go. Four more and three. Two, now standing knee raise, right knee and the left. All right, so it's now starting to pick up the intensity, but make sure you don't bang when your foot lands. So it's just a soft land, reach your arms way up, squeeze your tummy. All right, let's reach with those arms way up overhead. Eight more of these, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, double on the right. Four, doubles, three, and two, and eight singles. You're almost done with the warm up. You're feeling good, ready to work hard. Six, seven, double right for four, three, and two, and singles. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and double right. Four, and three, and two, one more, and the workout begins. Two, three, four, five, six, double right, four, three, two, awesome, walk it out, here we go, 45 seconds. First move is modified jacks, but I want you to focus on big arms, all right, let's go, 45 seconds. Now, keep it nice and slow or pick up the pace a little bit if you can. Micro bend in the knees, push your hips back just slightly and keep the abs on. Now if you feel this is too much for your arms, for your shoulders, just modify, make it a little smaller. But bigger arms are gonna really help get that heart rate up. All right, I hope you're with me. Hard to breathe a little bit already, so you're feeling that heart rate lifted. So good cardio. Just a little toe tap, 
Modified jacks, eight seconds. All right, now the next one is knee forward to the side. Just forward to the side, okay? Walk it out, right leg only. <clears throat> Let's go forward, side, forward. Great one for your abs. And with those arms up, great one for cardio. Knee, side, use control. And use your muscles to bring the knee into the chest. So you should start to feel your abs and your thighs working. And make sure you're not banging your toe to the floor. Side, side, good. Squeeze your tummy, big reach with the arms. Eight seconds, getting a little burn hopefully. Well done, walk it out. All right, same thing, other side. It's knee forward and side, okay? So it's forward and then pull the arm down on that side. Oblique work, let's go. Forward, side, forward, forward, and So use control, so you're using muscle control, not banging into any joints. Now be conscious here in your workout. Notice when the mind wanders and then just come back here. Right, so think about what you're gonna do after the class, what you're gonna eat later. Think about this, the movement, the feels, the muscles that are working. And guess what? It's gonna make you work harder when you're being mindful in your workout. Great skill to practice. All right, good. Now the next one is a step touch, but we're gonna go for big arm circles. That's the hard part. Forward four, back four. Get the legs first, just step touch forward for four. Three, two, backwards. Four, three, two, forwards. Four, three, two, and back. Four, three, two, forward. Whew. Those arms, get that heart rate working. And four, three, two, and forward. Four, three, bring it back. Four, three, two. Whew. Wait a minute, I can hardly talk with those big arms. And back, four, three, two, forward. Four, three, two. Oh my gosh, I lost my breath. All right, walk it out. <clears throat> You're just gonna do a side-to-side -side lunge. So it's not an actual lunge. It's more like a toe tap, okay? Use single arm, so it's right, left, right. Now you can keep it nice and slow, or if you're feeling in control, one, two, one, two. It's still no pressure on the knees, but high intensity. That's why we arrived today, because we love high intensity, hard workouts, challenging our body, Feeling amazing. Yes, you guys in the zone with me? Come on, get in the zone. Feel good. Tap, tap, tap. You can slow it down if you need to, or pick it up a little. One, two. All right, move to your left wall. We're gonna go for a double step touch and you're gonna punch the arms forward, okay? Walk it out. Go. It's one, two, one, two. Get the arms, one, two. Now, spread out, take up some space. One, two. Feeling good, moving your body. How good does it feel to move your body? Yes, happy days. All right guys, spread out now. Take up more space, bigger arms, bigger smile, because we're having fun now. You guys in the zone with me? So fun, right? Best part of your day right here. And then you're gonna have a domino effect the rest of the day. All day long, happy, healthy, strong. All right, walk it up fast. It's the 45 seconds going. All right, little walk. Next one is just a high knee march. You're gonna pump those arms. Make sure you don't bang, okay? Let's go, high knee march. Okay, this one, who cares what you look like? Let, it's all about 
high intensity, okay? So pump your knees up, squeeze your tummy, pump your arms. How big can you make it, but how softly can you land? How softly can you land? All knee friendly. So great for bad knees, but so good for your heart. Ab work, pumping those arms, cardio training. All right, next one is a tap out for four and then back on the diagonal for four. So right leg only, okay? Slow or fast, your choice. Here we go. Four, three, on the diagonal. Four, three, to the side. Four, diagonal. Four, three. Now, can you speed it up, but use control? Micro bend and standing leg to the side. Go, four. And back, four. Pick up the pace, let's go. Four, three, and back, four. Break a sweat now, that's your goal. Break a sweat. Bring it back, four. And side, standing legs should be burning. Bring it back, go, four, three. And four, three. Back, four, three. Oh my goodness, that was good. All right, same thing on the left, walk it out. March it out, whatever you want on this break. So it's four and four. Let's go, four, three. Back on the diagonal, four, three. And side, four, three. Bring it back, use control, move in quick. Four, three, and back, four. And side, four, three, and back, four. Now side, four. Three, bring it back, four, three, and side, four, three. 15 seconds, come on, quicker. And side, four, three, and back, four, three, and side, four, three. Ah, good job. All right, V step, so it's wide, wide together. The arms go and down, okay? So we're on the diagonal. Right leg, here we go. Wide, together, just the right foot lead, just the right foot. Wide, together. Punch the arms up, down, down. One, two. Okay, now, time to take up space. Step wide, step far back. Take up space. That's what's gonna help keep the intensity up. Remember, you're not banging, so you shouldn't hear a boom, boom, right? So stay soft on the landing, so it's all those muscles. Yes, reach up and down. You guys having fun now? Yes, me too, so good. Keeps us coming back for more. Having fun in your workouts, mixing it up, challenging yourself, so good. All right, walk it out, other sides. Remember, it's wide V, step together. Left leg leads, walk it out. Short recovery, let's go. One, two, back, back, one, two. So take up space now. How much space can you take up in your room? How high can you reach with those arms? Punch the sky, low, punch the sky. Good job. No pressure on the knees. Knees are happy, heart's happy, lungs are happy. Come on guys, move a little quicker if you can. Keep up that intensity. One, two, one, two. Great job. All right, the next one is a hamstring curl. So you're gonna go for eight singles and then four doubles, okay? So we're gonna pump with those arms. <sighs> right leg first, singles go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, double right. Go for four and three, two, singles for eight. You can slow it down if you need to. And five, six, double up for four, and three, and two, singles, go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, double for four, four, and 
and three and two singles let's go eight seven six five four three double it up finish these finish these three and two awesome job guys all right so remember this step touch we're gonna go again but i want you to pump those arms move quick let's go one two one two one two so it's hot feet right you're on hot stones try not to touch them go go yes high intensity no pressure all low impact so good all right pick up the pace 20 seconds let's go abs on Work your hardest, come on. Pumping, pumping. All right, walk it out. Okay, so the next one is eight cross punches, eight double cross punches, okay? Let's do it again, get our rhythm. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Now, eight doubles. Five, six, seven, singles. Eight, seven, six, four, three, and doubles. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Singles, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and doubles. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Good, singles, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Doubles, finish these, two, three, four, five, six, seven, walk it out. All right, good, now the next one. It is a march or a granny jog, which is still low impact. So you're gonna march here, or a little granny jog, which I love. No squatting, no lunging, no high impact, because you've got one foot on the floor, but you get those legs moving. All right, now, I want you to go, scale one to 10, you're level nine. Okay, get the legs moving, get the arms pumping. You're in the meat of your workout, work hard. Come on, faster, work harder, become better, leaner, fitter, happier. 10 seconds, go, run for your life, go. Well done. All right guys, we're gonna do those heel taps in front, Big arm reach, and then you're gonna toe taps behind. You got eight of each. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Toe tap behind. Eight, seven, six, five. Slow it down if you like. Now, heels go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Toe tap. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, heel to the front, eight, seven, your pace, slow it down if you need to, if you're losing form, bring it back, eight, seven, form is number one, five, six, seven, to the front, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, all right, I'm gonna go for a little thigh sculpting on the next one, it's called TikTok, so it's right, Left, okay, but the arms are just gonna pump up and down. Just an abductor lift. Let's go. One, two, one, two. Squeeze your booty, get the legs straight. Now, not super quick here because we want to feel those muscles that we're working. Lift and lift and pump with those arms. Squeeze your outer thigh, lengthen your spine. Happy days, feeling good. All right, this is the point of the workout. I need you to focus. Don't give in to fatigue. Say yes to energy, yes to strength. There it is. Feeling a second win now. Pump bigger. Well done, walk it out. Eight single knees, eight repeater right, eight repeater left. Okay, let's go. Singles, eight, seven, six, Five, four, 
three, repeat her right eight times. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, left side, go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, eight, single knees. Go for eight, seven, six, five, four, repeat her right. Eight, five, six, seven, and change. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, single knees. Now stay singles, you've got eight seconds. Finish up. Good, awesome, all right. Now we're gonna go for side to side lunge, but instead of singles, you're gonna go doubles the whole time. Okay, so let's get the legs first. So it doesn't confuse you. So it's out, knee, together. Out, knee, together. Out, knee, together. You got it? Let's add arms. Knee, together. Out, knee, together. Now as you lunge, make sure that the bottom toe is pointing the direction that you're facing. So everything's in alignment. Toe, knee, hip, nothing's hurting. Heart rate's up. Just double side to side lunge. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Good. All right, now this one you're gonna clap under the knee. So we're gonna have to move a little slower so we can take time to get the full range of motion with those arms. Let's go, <clears throat> right knee, left knee. Right knee, left knee. Great for your abs, great for that cardio. Not super fast here, because I want you to get a full range of motion with those arms. My gosh, I can hardly talk, this one's tough. Guys, you have a 30 second break, it's coming. Stay with me. Big arms, come on, don't get lazy. Big arms, perfect form, 15 seconds. Don't lose your form now. All right, good job. Walk it out. Oh my goodness, five minutes and then we have a break. Okay, so it's right knee, left lunge. Right knee, left lunge. Here we go. Right, left, right, left. Pump with your arms. Now, you can make it smaller if that feels like it's too much in your knees. And it's just a toe tap behind. It's not an actual lunge, right? It's not a typical lunge per se, so it shouldn't bother your knees. But if it is, just make it smaller. Pump with those arms. Knee, lunge, pump, and knee, lunge, knee, lunge. How good are you feeling now? Come on, punching away any stress, any tension. This is your therapeutic cardio workout. Back. That was good. All right, walk it out. Other side, so it's left knee, right lunge. March it out, march it out. Ready to work hard, 45 seconds, let's go. Knee, lunge. Pump those arms, make it big. Toe tap behind, big strong arms. Make sure the heel doesn't touch behind, just the toe. One, two, one, two. Yes, feeling good. Feeling powerful in our bodies. Feeling healing, oxygenated blood flow flowing through. And 15 seconds, make it bigger. Walk it out. All right, how are we doing? A little energy for a granny jog at 95%. So remember, your option is just a high knee march. Don't bang, stay there, or a little granny jog. Make it smaller, or come with me, 95%. So wherever you are, I want you to work at your 95. Okay, so you're only holding back five. Pop the arms, pop the legs, come on. It's gonna be a great day. Pushing your body, feels good. Challenging your body, feels good. Put it in now. Hard work now, dedication now, lifetime 
of fitness and happiness. Go. Come on, run for it. Go, go, go. Faster, 10 seconds, go. How's that? No pressure on the knees. Max work for that heart. All right, we're gonna go toe taps to the side with the arms pumping overhead this time. Whew, here we go, so it's one, two. Now, can you move just a little faster, but I want you to keep those arms up. If you feel your heart rate's too high, just go low arms. Those the arms are at least 50% of the work here. Side to side toe tap, big arms. You should all be breaking a sweat by now. If not, I need you to work a little bit harder. Come on, challenge your own body, your own fitness level. Feel great and in control of you. Feels good. Good job, six seconds. All right, now we're gonna go cross over knee repeater, elbow to opposite knee. Great for your abs, great for your heart. Micro bends in the left knee, set up. Let's go. One, two, nice and slow, or pick it up. All right, so how quickly can you get this leg moving, but use control? So remember form, number one goal, and then work your hardest. Load up your standing leg, just a micro bend to protect the knee. Toe straight ahead. That's it. Come on, should be feeling a little muscle fatigue by now. Definitely a little burn in the heart, burn in the lungs. All right, guys, 10 seconds. Go for your life, let's go. So good, stay with it. Oh my gosh, I'm having so much fun, are you? So good. All right, nice long spine, crossover knee repeater, right elbow up, get that crossover, squeeze your tummy, go. Nice and slow, or pick it up. All right, chest up and proud, guys. Get lots of air in, elbow towards the knee. Get that little rotation, and toe barely touches the floor. Good job. Light, light with that toe. <clears throat> All right, pick it up, come on. Your break's right around the corner. Earn your break. Challenge your body, challenge your heart. Stay with it. Five seconds. Whew. Walk it out, good work. All right, <clears throat> you're gonna go for eight knees with a punch, eight backward lunges. Two more moves and then we'll have a break. So here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Lunge back, just a toe tap, not an actual lunge. Yes, five, six. Knee raise, pop it, eight. Five, six, bring it back. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Abs on, knee raise. Let's go. Eight, seven, feeling fit. Five, six, bring it back. 15 seconds. Five, six, 10 seconds. Come on, pump. Five, six, bring it back. Eight, Finish these, six, five, finish it, four, three, two, whoo, all right, good job. Now guys, come back to your right wall. You're gonna walk forward, tap, walk back, tap, walk forward, tap, walk back, tap, walk forward, tap, walk back. Pump those arms. One, two, three, tap, one, two, three, tap. Good, one, two, three, one, two, three. Good job, keep pumping. All right, now take up more space, walk and walk. 15 seconds, big walk, let's go. All right, good job, walk it out, walk it out. All right, now we're gonna go for a toe tap with a jab. Toe tap with a jab. Abs are on, it's 
Five straight, let's go. One, two, one, two. Now, pick it up if you can. A little quicker. Time to punch away any stress. What do you not need today? Let go of it right now. There it goes. Are you feeling good? Are you feeling light, happy, fit and strong? One, two, one, two. Ten seconds. All right, next one is just an arabesque kick behind, okay? I want you to alternate side to side and you're gonna pump those arms up. Get your legs nice and wide. Then it's right, left, right, left. Reach arms overhead, squeeze your booty. All right, we're gonna do one more move after this one. Then we'll have a 30 second break. I know, it's coming. Push, push, squeeze your booty. You're feeling good, right? Stay in the feel goods. Lots of endorphins pumping through your bloodstream now. Those are the feel goods. Enjoy the feel goods. One, two, one, two. Well done, all right. Last move before we take our break. We're gonna go granny jog 100% of your effort, okay? So you can do a high march. Right, there's your option, or fast as you can. 100%, you'll run into break zone. Come on, that's it. Go hard as you can, hard as you can here. You're holding nothing back. Work into your full potential. Right now, go, come on. Hot feet, hot feet, go. Last 20 seconds, max out. Come on, push, eight seconds, extreme fitness, go. Walk it out, 30 second break, take it. seconds on 10 seconds off so shorter time harder work okay so it's just a toe tap with a punch cross punch cross punch one two one two now pick up the pace punch punch it's only 30 seconds so now I want you to really get into it cardio is almost done so you're pushing to your max good push push Eight seconds. Whew. All right, now you're gonna go knee repeater right, both arms up. So knee comes straight up, right up towards your chest. Both arms up, let's go. Keep it slow or pick it up. Spine straight, soft bend in the standing leg. Load up that bottom leg, get a nice little muscle burn. Make sure the right toe only touches, not the heel. Remember, it's only 30 seconds. You're more than halfway, come on. Push, push. Come on, pushing, last five. Well done, same thing other side. So it's straight forward, knee repeater. So the knee comes right up towards the chest, load up standing leg, arms up, let's go. One, two, one, two. These are so good. Strengthening, toning, and getting lots of intense cardio. All super friendly for your knee. One, two, one, two. Load up standing leg. Smile big, because you're feeling good. Come on, pick it up. Pick it up, guys. Whew. 
All right, so you're gonna do a toe tap, straight forward jab for four, uppercut for four. Uppercut, like you're punching under someone's chin. Okay, right side, go. Four, three, two, uppercut. Forward, four, three, uppercut. Cardio kickboxing, great for the heart. One of the quickest ways to burn lots of calories. Uppercut, four, three, forward. Good job, your knees are happy, your heart's happy. Let's go, four, three, uppercut, four, three, two, well done. All right, walk to your left wall. We're gonna go again for the double step touch, but this time instead of a punch forward, you're gonna punch up. I'm gonna make it a little bit harder. Let's get those legs. One, two, one, add the arms, overhead. That's a little harder, makes the heart work harder, makes the body happier, so. Grab the challenge, accept the challenge, and go. Take up space. Feel the joy of moving your body. There it is. Spread out, gang. Five seconds. Well done. All right, you're gonna go heel tap in front, right, this one. Arms reach overhead. We're gonna do that the whole time. Let's get the heels first, so it's right, Left, arms, one, two, one, two. Now, try to take up a little space, but focus on your form. That's always first. So if you feel like you're losing form, make it smaller, make it slower. That heart's working hard. It's all because of those arms, so don't cheat the arms. So good. Come on, gang. You're almost there. Woo. All right, <clears throat> you're gonna go for a wide lunge. So just get those legs nice and wide. Single arm overhead. Wide lunge side to side, so it's right, left, right, left, right, left. <sighs> Micro bend in that standing leg and rotate the toe to the direction that your chest faces so everything is in alignment. Toe, knee, hip, chest, everything in alignment. One, two, one, two. <sighs> Come on. Don't give up now. This is the part I need you to work. You are nearly done. Put it in, grab some stores. We all have stored calories, okay? Right now, your body's kicking in. That's why you're starting to fatigue a little bit because your body has to work harder to get those stores. So I want you to grab them. Let's go for a step touch. Now, bigger arms, forward and back, forward and back. So you might not be able to go as fast, but I want you to pump those arms. One. Two, take up space. Grab some stores. That's it. Push your body now. Yes. Say no to fatigue. You're almost there. Walk it out. Whew. All right, guys. You're going to go for backwards lunge. You're going to go for four nice and slow, and then eight quick. Let's punch forward, okay? Four nice and slow, maybe about 50% capacity, then eight quick, eight, but you gotta pull the punches, not all the way, four, three, slow it down 50%, four, three, pick it up quick, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, slow it down, four, three, pick it up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, slow, Three, two, awesome job, walk it out. Next one is a little bit of balancing. You guys are almost done. A little bit of balancing, right knee is gonna come up, but try not to touch the floor. Okay, so it's knee, 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 knee. Now, if you need to, hold the wall. Maybe ditch your arm if it's throwing you off. This is balance. We're also strengthening those muscles that protect the knee. Micro bend in that left knee. One. Two, float that right foot off the floor. Balance challenge, remember it's only 30 seconds. Workout is very close to being done. Stay in the challenge zone. All right, good job. Doesn't matter if your toe's touching, if you need to, that's okay. Do your best, but you wanna try to, maybe try a few with your foot off the floor, okay? Let's do it. It's knee, knee, knee. Now squeeze your belly to your spine, that's gonna help you. Steady your eyes, that'll help you. Good. 
Yes, we love a challenge. Balance challenge is so good. If you don't challenge your balance muscles and nerves, they go dormant, they go to sleep. That's not good. We want to challenge those balanced nerves and muscles. <sighs> Lots of core as well. Oh my gosh, all right guys. Do you have two more in you? Let's do two more and then we'll be done. Who's back in the house? It's Granny, she's back in the house. We're doing a 100% Granny job, let's go. You know your option is a high knee march or you're here, okay? You have two exercises, okay? So what are you holding back? Nothing at all, go. Run for your life. Fitness, lifetime fitness. That's it. You're dedicated. You're committed every day. Get in here. No matter what's happening in your mind, in your body, you get here every day. That's it. Take it, take it. Last one, guys. Last glorious exercise. We're just going to do those um, step touches, but we're going to go quick. This is the last one. Okay. So it's one, two, one, two, one, two. Last exercise. 20 seconds. Come on. This is basically a no repeat workout. I know I've repeated a few granny jogs and step touches, but basically a no repeat workout. So it's great for your body. Great to challenge your body, your muscles, your mind. All right, guys, now we need to recover. Walk it out. Let's take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale. <sighs> We're going to be on the floor just for a couple minutes, and then workout's done. I just need you to recover that heart rate to about 50% of your max here. Not a full recovery. Let's go one more deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. <sighs> Get some water. Grab your mat. Jump up. Now you're down, so we're still in 30 seconds. When you're ready, come into a high plank. On your hands, extend one leg and then the other. The right knee comes in and pumps. Eight, seven, you can do it from the knees to make it easier. Four, three, two, change sides. If you're still getting some cardio, now we're getting some core. Four, three, two, and change. Eight, seven, squeeze your tummy, push the floor away. Four, three, Two change sides. Eight and seven, six, five, four, three, two, and done. Awesome. Come on to your bum, extend your legs out in front of you. So close, guys. Hollow out the tummy, tilt pelvis to navel, cross over punches with a Russian twist. One, two, one, two. Now challenge yourself by coming a little further back than you're comfortable and then feel those abs click in. Remember, it's only 30 seconds. Feel your abs, and guess what? You are still getting cardio. That heart rate is still elevated. Last five. Well done. Come on to your forearms. Whew. Onto your forearms. Hollow out the tummy, tilt your pelvis towards the navel, tabletop the legs, slight tuck of the chin, bicycle the legs forward for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, now double right for four, it's four, and switch, three, tuck the chin, two, and eight singles. You've got one exercise after this that we're done. Hollow the tummy, four, three, two, double it for four, and three, and two, eight singles, go, finish it, eight, seven, six, finish it, and four, three, two, well done, last thing guys, on your back, tabletop your legs, the last exercise, hands behind the head, crunch pulse for eight pulses, seven, and six, five, and four, three, now stay up and we tilt, armpit to hip, armpit to hip, little tilt, it's not a rotation, it's a tilt. Just bring armpit towards the hip and crunch center. Go. Eight, seven. Last exercise. Relax the neck, relax the head. Four, three, two, and hold. You're done. 
Whoa, we did it. Let's stretch, real quick stretch, guys. Bring your right leg straight up, hammy stretch. Flex the foot and pull the leg in towards you. So we got cardio, we got core, no pressure on the knees. We're feeling good. So the bottom leg is straight or about the top leg is nice and straight. Really important guys to stretch these muscles, elongate the muscles, and then that will take pressure off of your knees, your hips, your back. So do not underestimate the power of flexibility training. Breathe in, breathe out, pull your leg in towards you. Push the knee away, inhale. Exhale, bring it in. One more deep breath, inhale. Exhale. Good. Change legs, hammy stretch, hand position anywhere but behind the knee. And then get the legs straight, get your shoulders down, tailbone down, push the knee away from you. Inhale. Exhale to pull it in. Good. Deep breath in. Deep breath out, pull it in. Awesome. Inhale. Exhale to bring it deeper. Once more, inhale. Exhale. Well done, guys. Hug the knees into your chest briefly. Roll over to your side and let's get a quad stretch. So just lie on your side, one hand under for support and just grab the top of the foot, but make sure your knee is right under the hip. Tuck your pelvis slightly. If you have trouble grabbing your foot, you can also grab a yoga strap, a band, something, and then just carefully pull on the top of the foot. Important guys to stretch the quad, as when the quad's tight, pulls on the hips, creating anterior pelvic tilt, slash arching in your back, pressure on your back, your hips, and your knees. So important muscle to stretch. Let's take one more breath here. Let it out. All right, let's change legs. And then just grabbing the top of the foot. Deep breath in and push the knee away from the hip. Tuck your pelvis. Awesome job, guys. All right, now that you're feeling reconnected with your body, take a moment to set a positive intention for the rest of this day. Positive intention, something in the present tense, something positive and something that resonates with you. Breathe it in, let it settle. All right, time to conquer the rest of this day with positivity. Let's sit for a moment, however you're comfortable, so if this doesn't feel good on your knees, just bring it right out, whatever feels good, and then just clasp your hands behind, open the chest, inhale, exhale. Well done, thank you all for joining me. Have an amazing day. And I hope you enjoyed this 45 minute hit cardio workout for bad knees, best fat burning cardio workout. I know you got a good sweat and I know you feel amazing now. Take this feeling with you all day and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at fithappy underscore Andrea. Be happy.